Hey guys, Sharlani here. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sharlani TV. In today's video, I am going to walk you through, take you along with me to our Dallas Restoration Hardware. I have always wanted to visit one of these stores and I don't know why I never considered that we would have one close to where I live. But hello, I live in the Dallas Metroplex. Of course we're going to have one. In fact, we have two. We have one in Dallas. That's the one that I'm going to show you. But we also have one in Plano. So I'm probably gonna visit that one at some point as well. But I have seen amazing pictures of their pieces and Restoration Hardware has absolutely beautiful furniture. Absolute beautiful furniture. So I knew that it was a little bit expensive. It's a little bit bougie for sure, but it was so much fun walking through this. So I don't know all the ins and outs of everything. Again, it's my first time that I ever went in there. I certainly wasn't going in to purchase anything. I just wanted an idea of what it kind of looked like. One of my favorite places to go is Nebraska Furniture Mart. And I will tell you that Restoration Hardware kind of way stepped up from that. <laughs> so I loved walking through all, as you'll see, all of the rooms are set up like within a room and the interior design is just absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. So I'll go ahead and if you wanna see what it looks like, then I will go ahead and walk you through with me and then I'll pop back in at the end and I'll kind of share my thoughts and my takeaways from all the beautiful things that I saw. So keep on watching. It was absolutely pouring, but luckily we were able to get front row parking and we were able to walk right in. Right off the bat, I was surprised because it looked more like the entrance to like a fancy hotel and not a furniture showroom. So that was a little bit surprising and really, really cool. So they had areas that you just walk through and they were set up as a bedroom or as a dining room or as a living room. Some were like open spaces. So you got a really good feel of what the vibe of a specific area was. From everything that I have heard from people who have purchased from Restoration Hardware, their outdoor furniture is amazing. Definitely something to possibly splurge on. Now this is something I will absolutely be recreating. Love the urn, love that plant, the aloe, oh, so, so cool. Now I thought these table books were amazing and definitely something that I will at some point look into. I just think that having a book like this, it's like a coffee table book, but it's humongous. But to have this full of family pictures, uh, I just think it would be so, so cool to have. This particular restoration hardware was actually 
three stories. The first one was all of what you just saw, which is, I guess, their regular furniture. And then the modern furniture is on the second floor. And then the third floor is a restaurant that they have, which we didn't even go up there. But this is the modern section, which if I were to choose which one I liked most, I like the one on the first floor a little bit better. This is more contemporary, more modular, and personally, I like the things that we saw down below. But this furniture, still absolutely beautiful. And then again with the outdoor furniture, it was really cool to see that all of the rain, because it had been pouring off and on while we were in there, it just beaded off the furniture. And then by the time we got up here, like there's literally no water on these couches. It was crazy, super cool. I am a sucker for iron work. I absolutely love iron work, but this in my opinion, a little bit, ridiculous. Most of the ironwork I have in my house is from Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, Ross, and I love them just the same. <laughs> Obviously, that was a little bit more heavy duty than probably what I have, but who would know that unless somebody who is going in and trying to take artwork off your wall, and that would just be a crazy person. <laughs> I absolutely fell in love with some of these rugs. Were they pricey? Absolutely. But if you want to feel something super soft, some of these were, I mean, it was literally like walking on a cloud. So, so soft and such beautiful patterns for sure. Okay, so I, beautiful, right? First of all, absolutely gorgeous. So a couple things that I had noticed is, first of all, you could go into just about every section and say, I would like that sofa, I would like that console table, I would like that dining room table, those chairs, that bedroom set, uh, that dresser, and it would all go together. I felt like all of the pieces of furniture were very cohesive, and I think that in design, that makes it so much easier to have a cohesive look throughout your entire house. Um, a lot of the tones were the same, um, you know, white, creams, gold, silvers, and I think everything worked together. And I started as I was walking through going, if I wanted this, would it look good on that? Yes, it would look good on that and that and that. So a lot of the things that they have there, absolutely beautiful, gorgeous furniture for sure. And so what I did was, now obviously I am not an interior designer, I know what I like, but I like to work from inspiration. So as you saw that last table, they had a bunch of catalogs. And these catalogs are literally no joke. They're so thick and they have the most beautiful pictures in them. And I am, that was an awful, that was an awful, let me try that again. <laughs> they have beautiful pictures in here. So what I'm going to do 
just when I have extra time, relax time, recharge time, I will probably go through these. So we've got this one here. We've got an outdoor furniture one here. We've got rugs here. I've got a be the Beach House collection, which is one that I absolutely love. I have flipped through this one for sure, and I'm like, oh my gosh, so many cool things. And then we've got a modern furniture one here. So I have a whole bunch of catalogs that I will absolutely use for inspiration next time I am needing to design or kind of zhuzh up a room, right? So I am so happy that I went. I'm excited that we have one so close because like I said, a lot of the design that I do is usually taken from inspiration that I get from somebody else's design. And obviously, all of the rooms at Restoration Hardware are designed by real interior designers. So I had said to Rob, and <laughs> this is the relationship that we have. This tells us, I'll share a little, give you a little bit of insight as to how our relationship kind of goes. <laughs> and I had come home and I said, Rob, there is just one thing that I absolutely loved and really, really want. And he sarcastically said, oh, what is it? Like a $1,700 piece of furniture? <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, and no, it was a $5,000 sofa. <laughs> the very first thing I saw was that white sectional. Oh my gosh, you want to talk about sitting on a cloud? It was amazing. So that is definitely something that I've got on my wish list right alongside my walk-in refrigerator. <laughs> I'm like, these are the two things that by the time I die, these are things that I want. And he just rolled his eyes like, yeah, right. And I'm like, someday I will get that. I will somehow get to add that into my budget at some point. But I will tell you that the things here in Restoration Hardware are <laughs> so expensive. A lot of things were like beyond anything that I would ever want in my house because I would be so afraid that things would get ruined. And things that are thousands and thousands of dollars, I'm like, yeah. Like we saw a desk there that literally was several thousand dollars. And I was thinking, I would rather get that at Nebraska Furniture Mart for a fraction of the price and it would still look just as beautiful. So it is definitely a bougie place. It is gorgeous and beautiful. Whether or not I would fill my house with RH stuff, probably not to be honest. Maybe if I just had money to blow, <laughs> maybe. But I will also say, and I can't remember if I've said this before, but I will say that what is very convenient is that you can have a consultation with them. And if you can say, this is my house, this is my floor plan, we need lighting, we need window uh, treatments, we need this, 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 and this, and you can create a package with them and they would actually come in and design your house. I just thought that that was kind of a really cool thing. And then they have memberships there. I don't know how any of that works. I guess at some point if we decide to purchase more than one piece of furniture, then we would possibly consider doing that. But they have a membership where you get everything at a very discounted price, which is something to look into if you're gonna be spending a lot of money there. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the bougier side of furniture shopping. <laughs> I enjoyed the trip very much. Definitely have some ideas of things that I can put onto my inspo boards and Pinterest for sure. Maybe even cut some of these out and put them on a vision board and say, this is what I would like someday. That is always fun. It's always fun to dream too, right? All right, thank you so much for tuning in to Charlani TV. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to Charlani TV, I would love it if you did. Bye guys.